Hi, my name is Sam Coolivan. I am the Fulcrum's video journalist. This week is the first installment of uh, Behind the Scenes at the Fulcrum. And this week we went behind the scenes with the Fulcrum's editor-in-chief, Charlie Dutille, to discuss how the events that took place last week in regards to the University of Ottawa Student Union's food bank unfolded. So on Tuesday night, uh, the Fulcrum was made aware from an anonymous student that uh, the names of 111 students were that used the food bank, University of Ottawa Students Union Food Bank, were available on uh, the union's website under the subsection food bank on a Google form. So basically anybody uh, who wanted to and who found them could access uh, this information. Uh, of course, this information that should be private in, uh, in practice. Uh, and that was confirmed by Tim Gulliver, who's the UOSU's advocacy commissioner. But after further research, uh, we did find that it wasn't just the names that were available on that form. It was also uh, students' numbers, like students on their uh, student ID card, as well as their emails. And uh, in some cases, there was also phone numbers for those who wish to give the uh, food bank their phone number to be contacted that way. Um, there was also uh, information that was, you know, used by the food bank that wasn't people's information. So like basically like what was ordered, like the number of eggs, number of like dairy products and stuff like that. So basically after being made aware of this, uh, the Fulcrum, we contacted uh, people, uh, well, the emails that were on the list to get reactions from uh, students whose data was public. We also informed them of the situation uh, because most of them were unaware. Uh, we did this, we got a lot of reactions. A lot of people were visibly well upset. Uh, as you would be in this situation. Uh, but yeah, so that was that. We published the story. Uh, and then the USU, uh, they released a statement uh, describing what had happened. Uh, and also, uh, well, it was actually a notice of incident on what happened and also offered a one year subscription to everybody who was affected to Equifax. Um, for those who don't know, Equifax is a company uh, that helps with data protection after a uh, leak of information or like a data breach or something like that. Uh, it's to help secure your identity to uh, make sure that people don't use it for nefarious reasons. Thank you, Charlie, for recapping the situation. I would like to add that the uh, names were up for nearly a month before the union decided to take them down. Thanks for watching.